Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be sharing with you my language learning tools for Romanian. As with all the languages I'm learning, my main tool is Duolingo and as I said before and I will probably say that a lot more, um, Duolingo isn't perfect. Um, it really depends on the language though. Each course is very different. Romanian is quite good in my opinion, quite elaborate. Um, so I really like that course. I already got my golden owl and I'm still working on getting higher. Um, but as with the other languages, I also made a grammar notebook. Um, it's falling apart a bit, so I'm not sure if this is gonna go well. I just make notes on the lessons. Um, this is measure, for example. And um, that just helps me to remember the grammar rules and just look things up without having to go to the website of Duolingo when I'm learning Romanian. And next to that, I also have this tiny phrasebook and dictionary in Romanian. I um, haven't really used it yet, I've leafed through it a bit. Um, it's uh, separated into categories like survival, food and drink, leisure, travel, stuff like that. And it's just sentences and words that, well, help you learn Romanian and specific to a certain category. And I just really like these tiny booklets, um, even though I haven't really used them. I've got quite a lot already, uh, <laughs> so I probably should use them more. Um, it would work really well to get my vocabulary better and bigger, so to say. Um, so maybe I should start using them. And if you have any tips for me how to use these, should I just like write the sentences down and translate them? or? Do you have any other tips for me, then let me know. For Romanian, I also made some language learning cards. Um, let me zoom them in for you a bit. These are the relative possessive pronouns and the absolute possessive pronouns and also to be and to have. And then also, what are they called? Can't read it. Accusative pronouns and dative pronouns. And um, well, that's all I have for Romanian right now. Um, these are things that keep coming back, so I thought it would be easy for me to make cards of them when I'm learning Romanian. So I did. Um, maybe the collection gets bigger when there's more for me to add that keeps going back. But for now, this is it, and I just really, well, like making these cards because they just show me like in one view what I need when I'm learning Romanian. I hope this is gonna go well. Um, for Romanian, I also have this giant box. <laughs> um, it's not only Romanian, um, half of it is Turkish. I'm gonna put it down, that's safer. And it's filled with flashcards, um, like these. Um, this is for a house. And then, for example, you have kitchen on one side and bucateria on the other side. And, well, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of categories, house, food, people, um, occupations, verbs, adverbs, travel, all that. Um, I'm not gonna hold it up because that's gonna go wrong. I'm not gonna show you all of them. I think you know the concept of flashcards. Um, I just made a lot for Romanian, I also did it for Turkish, but I will show you those when I make my Turkish language tool video. Um, so I have about 20-25 categories for Romanian. Um, I did use these quite a lot in the beginning when I just started learning Romanian. They just helped me to get the hang of the vocabulary, to really get the words into my head, because Romanian was such a new language for me. Um, I had French, German, English, that's what I learned. Um, even though French helped a little with Romanian, um, a lot of the vocabulary was completely different from what I already knew, so I really had to like put it into my head, you know. Um, so these flashcards really helped me with that. 
And then last but not least, um, there's plenty of series on YouTube that will help me learn my Romanian. If you have followed me for quite a while now, you have seen videos of this and you also seen it on my Instagram, Purcelusa Peppa. Um, yeah, it's Peppa Pig in Romanian. There's a lot of episodes on YouTube. I think you can find basically any language Peppa Pig episode on YouTube because um, I've also found Finnish and there's Turkish and French and German. Well, basically every language, um, but for Romanian I really used it a lot because that was the first thing I found. Um, I think someone like, gave me a tip about it, that it was on YouTube. And I started watching a lot of Purcelusa Peppa and it really has helped me to like get a feel of the Romanian language, um, to like understand it better to get the flow into my head so to say because when you practice on Duolingo it's kind of a mechanic voice and the pronunciation isn't always correct so just watching this children's series has really helped me to like really like hear the real Romanian so to say and I plan on watching a lot more and when it gets a bit too easy, but I don't expect that to happen too soon, then I'll probably look for something else. But as I said, there's plenty on YouTube. Um, I could also watch Disney in Romanian, that's always an option. So there's plenty of material for your future. So that was it for Romanian. As you may have noticed, not as much as I have for French or German and when my Turkish video is coming, you'll see that I have a lot of material for that language. Romanian, the collection is not that big. Um, for now, it's mostly Duolingo and also a lot of Portugalusa Peppa. I hope to find some books in Romanian very soon, but it's really hard because it's not really a common language in the Netherlands. So finding books is pretty hard. Um, but if you have any tips, of course there's always something like Amazon or something, but I'm not sure if I want to buy anything there. Um, but if you have any tips for me, types of books in Romanian, uh, preferably a children's book, because I'm not sure if I can do anything else, um, just leave a comment down below. Um, if you use any of these tools, let me know as well, we can chat about it. If you have other tips for me, other tools, Let's chat about it in the comments as well, I love to. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And then I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye!